Hey guys, welcome back. My name's Janice. This is going to be a favorites video. I can't necessarily make one of these every month because I don't buy that much stuff, but I realized I hadn't done one in quite a few months, so I definitely have some new things that I'm loving right now. I'm one of those people, I will not recommend something unless I absolutely love it, so you can trust that everything I'm recommending, I really, really mean it. Okay, let's get into it. So first up for clothing is a brand called Jill Rodriguez. So I made another video dedicated to a try on of her clothing. So if that's up already, I'll leave it in the down bar. So basically she used to be a designer, I think for American Apparel. Now she has her own line. It's um, a woman's only line. It's basically like high end luxe basics. If I had to design a line, it would be exactly this love all of her products i've tried three items so far she employs a lot of minority women uses sustainable fabrics everything is like a plain monochromatic look so it's very timeless so her thought behind these pieces were that you could have them for a long time in your wardrobe and you can't really tell what year it's from it's just exactly that it's timeless so i really really love her company everything fits true to size you can get it on essence if you're here in canada or order directly from her website so i will put up a picture just of a few of the things that i ordered and i'm going to make a different video trying it on for you guys Next up are, again, I'll have another separate video, the Feel Grounds, the high top uh, barefoot shoe. So in my opinion, this does not look like a barefoot shoe, but it's so healthy for your foot. If you have any foot problems, wide feet, these are going to be the answer to your prayers. I love, love, love them. I've been walking 10,000 steps every day in them ever since I got them. I love them. So another video will be coming out soon, just a dedicated review to that. So another clothing company I wanted to talk about, it's called Blush Lingerie. It's from Montreal, so a Canadian company. I love supporting Canadian businesses. And I think just through a Google search or something like that, I was looking for sheer bras. I really like those types of bras. So this company came up. Everything is very high quality, but the price point is pretty low. I love their underwear. Their thong underwear is now my favorite. And I believe they have like seven for like either 25 or 34 dollars or something it comes really quickly i love 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 this company so here is the blush lingerie bodysuit so i ended up getting a size large in it just because i hadn't ordered for the sorry from the brand before and i wanted the cup size up here to be big enough and i think this is perfect for me because i have a bigger chest like 34 d or 36 c and then the back just looks like this. It has um, adjustable straps. It's very like satiny and a thong back. Beautiful. So this is from Blush Lingerie. So again, like with the bodysuit, I love this company. Don't worry, these are new. I have some other stuff that I've been wearing. I find the price point is amazing. And I do find with the bras, I have to go up a little bit. So I find with this company, I do have to go up a little bit in the band size. So normally I'm a 34D at Victoria's Secret or 36C. So I had to get a 36D, so just keep that in mind. And I think on the bottoms, I ordered a large just because I didn't know what size I would be, but I think I could take medium or large bottoms. Yeah, and I just, I really love bras that are sheer. I don't like padding because I already have a big chest. So yeah, I just really like the colors. Gorgeous. So here's the airy bralettes that I got you guys. So I actually got all of them. I just looked in a size XL. So I guess they must fit a little bit small. I just picked um, this one up in the store. Um, I just kind of like held it up and it looked the right size. And then, yeah, when I got home, I realized it was an XL. So definitely maybe size up. I'm sure because they are very stretchy that you could fit into like one or two different sizes, but I just wanted them really nice and comfy. I guess if you want them more supportive, obviously size up. I just got them more as like a sleep bra or just something to like wear around the house just as like a lounge bra but definitely I would highly suggest all these. So something I really like doing in the morning, if I'm drinking a tea or coffee, I love going on eBay and searching for cool vintage pieces. I've done this for years actually, and I resell a lot of it online. 
And I was thinking maybe that I should start a little business doing that, um, but I'm not really sure if I have the time to devote to that right now, but I'll, I'll share with you a couple of the cool pieces I found recently. And again, this is great. It's um, not bad for the environment, buying used things, and often you can get really, really good deals on some cool designer pieces. So I love eBay for that. So first up, I have a vintage Celine cosmetics pouch. So just for reference, this is pretty much the exact same size as the Louis Vuitton, the, the smaller cosmetics pouch. Um, I love this. This was a great find. It is perfect condition on the outside. It's not scratched at all. I would say the leather feels very similar to the Louis Vuitton one. I like the old vintage feel. I mean, it gives you the very same vibe. The inside is still great condition. Um, it says, zoom in. Says Celine, Paris made in Italy. Um, the hot stamping's worn off slightly, but not a big deal. Yeah, it's great condition. This is a Fendi Zucchino handbag. So the strap is fairly short, so it's best worn in the crook of your arm or you can just hold it as a little top handle. It's definitely big enough to fit your, um, your iPhone, even if you have the biggest one, makeup, wallet, comb, what have you, all your keys, great condition. This is vintage. There are no stains, no scratches on the leather. It's beautiful condition. So here is that Bob Mackie jacket, you guys. Is this not sick? I got a size medium. It's kind of like a little bit oversized. It was brand new when it came, like it still had the paper on all the buttons. Oh my gosh. So I ordered this quite a while ago and now I'm noticing on websites like Zara and whatnot that um, yeah, kind of this like Western fringe type thing. It's coming back into style and yeah, the arms are like that. I'll show you the back. So it has really great movement when you wear it. And they had other colors, but I couldn't find one in a good condition um, in the brighter colors that I liked. But yeah, it looks great when you drape it over your shoulders as well. I love it. So this blouse I got is a Scotta. So it got it, sorry, I got it in a size 38. So up here, this is a real silk blouse, you guys. I forget how much I paid for it. It was really like next to nothing for what it is. So it's silk up here and then it's sheer on the bottom and the arms are also sheer. So when it came, it had pretty severe shoulder pads. Um, I got the tailor to take them out and then I'll show you on the back. It's super cute, one second. So the back, so up here is a little bit thicker and it has like a silk bow on the back. Is that not the cutest thing? Yeah, so you could wear like a black bodysuit under it or just a black bra and it looks fine, but I just thought that was so, so pretty and it fits perfectly. Okay, for food items, I wanted to share with you the company Mother Raw. So they make really cool dips and salad dressings that are completely vegan, plant-based, organic, no nasty ingredients. I'll show a close. So here's the brand I really like, you guys. So it's Mother Raw. So everything's organic, vegan, no bad ingredients, no inflammatory oils. So right now, I think I've tried everything, but I have the Greek one, the Caesar dressing. This is a dip. This tastes like a really fresh dill dip for like vegetables, crackers. You could use it kind of instead of hummus. Um, I find it very hard to find a Caesar dressing that's vegan. So this one's excellent. And the Greek one is really, really good too. Like everything I've tried, I like pretty much equally. And I'll just show you. So they only really have water, olive oil, apple cider vinegar, lemon juice, onion, garlic, oregano, salt, pepper, hemp seeds, chia seeds, and zero sugar, low calorie. It's excellent. And these retail for, I want to say around $5.99 each. Definitely worth it. So a couple of exercise pieces of equipment. They're both by Brett Contreras. It's the hip thruster for at home. It's the hip thruster light. I'll show it for you. So you can do hip thrusts, glute bridges, you can do calf raises off of it. Um, maybe I'll make another video just showing how to use it. And also I love his uh, glute band, it's the best. 
And this one I have mentioned before, but if you guys want to do some at-home workouts, especially now that we're in quarantine, cannot recommend this enough. I travel with this. This is always in every bag I have every day. If I need to get a quick, quick workout in, I love it. It doesn't roll over. It gives very strong resistance. I think maybe he's updated how it looks because I got the original one, but it's by Brett Conjuras. It's the hip thruster loop. Sometimes these are called glute loops too, if you're looking for it. But again, this is a must. For fashion accessories, I'm going to show a necklace by Martha Calvo. And I was just looking for like that perfect um, like herringbone or I don't know if it's called that or snake chain, like a gold necklace. So I'll show a close up of it now. I really like it. It's a great layering piece. And I really like this brand. I've ordered from her before and it, it lasts. It doesn't tarnish. It's really good quality. So next up is this necklace from Martha Calvo. So I really like her brand. Um, in real life, it's a very nice, shiny, high quality gold. I just really wanted a necklace like this for laying, layering, sorry. Uh, it's like, I guess that herringbone effect. So I've been really liking this new electric toothbrush called Bruch. So I'll insert a clip of it now. My teeth are very clean. And also a new salt toothpaste by Walita, which I love. It makes my teeth feel so, so clean. So just a couple of oral care products I wanted to talk about. So this Walita, I saw this on well.ca. It's a salt toothpaste, which kind of, I don't know, it just intrigued me. It's a peppermint flavor. Um, it is very, very salty. But I will say I have never felt cleaner teeth in my life. It's amazing. Anything from Walita is a really clean company. Definitely give it a shot. When it comes out, it actually looks just like, let's see if I can show you. It looks like pink Himalayan sea salt, but it's actually not very abrasive. And it gets, see, <laughs> it gets um, your saliva really flowing because it is so salty. It's really, it's unique. So I usually use this in the morning kind of as like a detox toothpaste. And then I'll use a different one at night. And then I'm gonna make a separate review video of this. Um, companies reach out to me all the time to review dental products and because of my job, I love doing that. This one is excellent. So it's pronounced Bruch. So if you're looking for a new electric toothbrush, I'll leave my code in the down bar. This one is excellent, but look out for my full review video. So some beauty products that I like right now, I have a Josh Rosebrook. It's a hydrating spray for your face. I love that. It makes your skin really plump and glowy. Um, I like a Caudalie Serum. Also makes your skin glowy. I have a new face device. So it's one of those devices. It kind of gives like micro current stimulation. It's supposed to lift and plump your skin because I don't know what is I guess I'm just obviously getting older and I'm white. <laughs> My skin is starting to sag, so I do feel when I use it consistently, it does tighten my skin up. I was thinking to get one of those Forma facials done. I think you have to do a series of five. If anyone out there has got those done, can you please leave in the comments if you liked it or not? Do you think it's worth the money? Because I might still do that. So I really have been liking that ever since Christmas time. And anything else? I think that maybe. Oh, actually, one more thing: the Agent Nature products. Her products are amazing. I rave about them all the time. So I'll insert a clip of that. This product from Josh Rosebrook, I saw on the Detox Markets website, it had very good reviews. It's I was looking for just another facial mist. So it's called Hydrating Accelerator Moisturizing Facial Mist. So what I do after I put on my toner, I just quickly spray my face with this or I spray my face right when I get out of the shower just because my skin gets really dry quickly so just to hydrate it and I find it just really again pulls moisture into every cell on your face it I don't know it just I feel like after it allows your other products to absorb better into your skin you can also use this throughout the day just to freshen up your makeup but I usually just use this on bare skin and I love it it has a really nice kind of light scent to it. So this Radiant Serum is excellent. I really like the smell of it and it just gives a nice healthy glow. I find it plumps my skin up. I really like that. Sometimes I mix this with a little on my sunscreen just to give my skin like a moisturized glow. Love it. And I usually just put this on at morning just because I don't want to waste it at nighttime. So this is the new face device. So I ordered this gel primer, a bigger version on Sephora. 
So you need to put that on. Um, and then, yeah, this is the device. I'll put it on for you. So this Hyaluronic Pearl and Rose Toner by Agent Nature, um, it's called Holy Water. This is my absolute holy grail product. If I was stranded on a deserted island, this would be the one thing that I would bring. I've ordered it, I think this is my third bottle, and it, it lasts a really long time. I think it retails for like 115 118 which yes, I know is expensive, but if you follow the owner, Jenna, on Instagram, you're going to see how passionate she is about skincare and sourcing the highest quality ingredients. So what it does, anything with this ingredient, it draws water basically into the cells, into the pores. You apply this, your skin's instantly plump and glowing. It's amazing. You can use this in combination with her oils, vitamin C powder. Amazing. You need to get this. Next up is her, the Holy Glow, the Ageless Eye Serum. Again, it just gives this beautiful glow around your eyes. Amazing. I can't speak highly enough of her products. And then third up, this is basically an ocean adaptogen. So she did this with Dr. Will Cole. It's called Holy Youth. And it's like a, almost like a spirulina powder. It has other things like pearl powder in it to basically boost the plumpness, the glow of your skin. It's amazing. When I used this before, my hair was growing really fast. My skin was literally glowing and my nails were growing really fast. So I just ordered this again, really, really good. I keep this in the fridge and I personally, I do not like the taste of it, but I just put it in a little water or juice, a smoothie and get it down fast. But I take that every day and I use these every day. This is morning and night and this is usually in the morning. So I'll show you my favorite perfume at the moment. It's almost gone, but I've ordered some more from their website. So the brand is Memo Paris. This one's French leather. Oh my God, you guys. So probably a year ago I got, you can get this size in a three pack. You can also get like a more expensive carrying case, which I might invest in now that I know I really like this brand, but it's like a husband and wife that created this brand and they travel a lot and they just create scents that remind them of certain places that they've traveled. This is definitely a higher end brand, but if you want to treat yourself, guys, it is so worth it. I'm really not that good at describing scents. Whenever I wear this, people compliment it. My boyfriend tells me all the time, I this might be a little creepy. Like when I get onto an elevator, I can actually tell like people are breathing in to smell the perfume. And it's like a perfect size. If you're going out for the night, it fits in a little bag or just a little makeup bag like this. Um, something that's cool on their website, you can order a sampler pack of all their perfumes, which I got. So it's in the mail right now. So I'll maybe do a little review of it and I'll let you know the other scents that I really like. They used to sell this at Saks in Canada. Unfortunately though, I don't know if this has changed. I went in one day looking for this and they were all out and the ladies like actually were getting rid of this brand. And I don't think they have it at Holt Renfrew. So if you guys know if there's somewhere else I can get it in Canada, um, otherwise I don't mind. Like sometimes this is something nice to get for yourself when you're traveling somewhere, but definitely, oh my God, the scent is the best. So two items that I love from Lily Silk are the silk hair scrunchies and also the pillowcases. It's just really good for your skin, your hair, and someone recently kind of messed my hair up, so we need all the help we can get. So these are a couple items I really like from Lily Silk. So I really like their silk hair scrunchies and their pillowcases. So for a long time, I didn't know if silk pillowcases really did anything, and then I stopped using them, and I noticed my hair was breaking off more. It was more frizzy. Um, little split ends. So I really do highly recommend these. I will say I've had a couple little incidences where I tried somebody new for dyeing my hair and things didn't go well. So I've learned my lesson, not doing that again. And these things will really help to keep your hair nice and healthy. Sorry. So yeah, I really, I highly recommend these and they're very affordable.
something that saved my skin this winter was having a humidifier. Um, I find my eyes get really dry, my skin lips will get cracked, sleeping with the humidifier on saved my skin. Um, we don't even really have an expensive one, we used to, but I found the filters were really hard to change and they're quite expensive. I just got a cheap one at Shoppers Drug Mart, but it does an excellent job. So if you don't have a humidifier, definitely get one. Especially if you live in a condo like me, I find the air quality is really quite poor. If you like true crime types of things, documentaries, podcasts, I would really suggest Dr. Phil has a podcast. I'll tell you the exact name. It's called Mystery and Murder Analysis by Dr. Phil. So what he does, he takes a murder case and he breaks it down into like four or five episodes, analyzing it. There's also audio clips from when they've interviewed um, either like a victim or the person that did it. So I don't know, I just find it really interesting. It's almost like you're watching something really good on Netflix, but you're listening to it. So I put it on sometimes when I'm in the shower, I'm out for a walk, I really, really like this. And I just, I don't know, I've always loved Dr. Phil. I love his sayings and yeah, I just love him. <laughs> I don't know why. So thank you guys so much for watching my favorites videos. If there's something you're loving lately, leave it in the comments below and let me know if I should check it out. Bye.